A shocking exchange took place on Fox News after Catherine Pugh, the mayor of Baltimore, went on Laura Ingram's show to demand gun control Too bad for Pugh, things would go horribly wrong, and she was shocked by what inadvertently came out on live television Although the left would have you believe that gun control could stop a mass shooting, the truth is, it can't The law doesn't prevent bad people from being evil. They'll get their hands on guns one way or another, even if it means doing so illegally Rules only apply to those willing to abide by them in the end, criminals get what they want and carry out their horrid plans regardless of any laws forbidding them from doing so Liberals don't grasp this, and the left has unfortunately sought to use the recent tragedy in Florida to infringe on our constitutionally protected rights Hoping to heavily rely on emotion rather than logic, they're still pushing for legislation that won't do any good Proving just that is Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh, who just announced that she will be sending 60 biomses to the March Against Guns in Washington, D. C. later this month Showing her complete and utter lack of coup, she even went so far as to admit to using children as political props, saying that those biomses will be filled with 3,000 students Too bad for her, things just blew up in her face after she was asked to appear on Fox News for a brief interview about a recent decision Let's just say, it didn't go too well for her In fact, Pew would be left downright shocked after what came out on live television and she had no idea that she was about to get blindsided, according to BizPack Review Seen on the Ingraham angle, Pew was more than happy to brag about her plans but she wasn't expecting the trick that Laura Ingraham had up her sleeve Come to find out, Pew had a little secret that she didn't want anyone to know, and she hated it when Ingraham brought it up Exposed during the interview, the mayor can't even afford to run her schools properly, but she is willing to put out the cash to fund this little publicity stunt According to the list that Laura Ingraham put up during the segment, here are just a few shortcomings that Baltimore City schools are suffering under Mayor Pugh's reign Enrollment falls to 10-year low $130 million budget deficit for FI 2018 115 personnel laid off insufficient heat in classrooms $38 million needed for HVAC and other repairs So, basically, this woman can't even afford to keep the kids in her schools warm during the winter, but she can afford to bus 3,000 of them to Washington, D. C. To serve as political props. This is the legacy of the left, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, Pew wasn't too happy that Ingraham pointed this out, and she immediately had a full blown meltdown. No longer willing to hold a civil conversation, the liberal mayor could only be heard shouting over Ingraham, not letting the host get a word in edgewise Too bad for the Democrat, Ingraham wasn't about to back down and still recited Pew's abysmal record during her obviously agitated little rant The left is out of control with their little stunts these days at this point, they are not only using our children to progress their own agenda, but they're actually indoctrinating kids How low do you have to stoop in order to abuse easily influenced minds by brainwashing them to believe a certain narrative? These people have been entrusted to educate our children, not raise soldiers for their political war 
These are dangerous times we are living in, and it's people like you who pose the biggest risk. This woman sits on her high horse, telling other people how to live, but she can't even get her own city in order. You know what they say about people who live in glass houses 